find a soul a home, a film aimed at creating awareness on mental illness. Director Kanisile Chazibana grew up in Kwamakak in Kubeha, and this is where she found inspiration for this film. This after a neighbour tried to burn herself as she was feeling misunderstood by her family. She suffered from schizophrenia for years but was deemed possessed by traditional healers and the church. Fortunately, the neighbour saved her life but had no knowledge of her condition. Afterwards, they assumed this was an attention-seeking stunt. They were blaming her for what she was doing and they didn't understand her. They were saying things like she should have just burnt herself um, somewhere far if she wanted to kill herself because now she's complicating everyone's life and it was a matter of she's seeking for attention and she's not really ill. Maybe she's got demons or all of those things. and. That's what made me then write the story. Like, because in our black communities, mental illness isn't something that's taken seriously. Or it, they always associate it with everything else but the actual situation. So it's always like, possessed, you have demons, you have been bewitched and all of those things. And essentially what I'm trying to tell with the story is that you need to listen to people when they suffer from mental illness. In 2020, the World Health Organization indicated that at least 20% of adolescents have some type of mental illness. 50% of these disorders occur by the age of 14. Assistant director for this film, Bokhle Khwakla, suffers from an amalgamation of post-traumatic stress disorder, a social anxiety and panic disorder that stems from his youth. Growing up in a staunch Christian home, he says his problems were not taken seriously. And that obviously had dire effects on me, coming from a very impoverished background, um, Christian background at that, of which the entire disposition of the overarching family was that every, you, pray, you pray the problems away. Mm -hmm. um, and it gets even harder when you're a black queer kid, when intersectionality comes into the picture, because um, you're not only oppressed, um, as somebody with these anxieties, but as a queer person with these anxieties. So there are limitations um, as to how you can express yourself and express the panic attacks, the grief, um, the pain, and just the, the reactions that you'd, you'd have from getting these anxiety attacks. Um, I remember when I was younger, um, I grew up with my aunt who was very stern. Um, and whenever I would express myself or express a grievance, it's either, it's either I get a slap in the face, that get it together, you know, or um, it's just ignored and not taken seriously. Many young people are either not aware or keep quiet about their illnesses due to stereotypes in society. According to the World Health Organization, this is one of the reasons the youth suicidal rate is constantly increasing. What? Casting crew members who took part in this film say they have learned a lot about themselves and can now define how they feel. They say they are all in it to change the narrative. Um, especially black communities or black families, they are not well um, aware of mm -hmm. ma like mental illnesses or they, or they are, not that they are not, or maybe they just believe that it's not a black thing, like they always say that it's not a black thing, or they always say, if, if you come out and say that you're suffering from a mental illness, it's always a matter of you acting white, or you have white people problems, and all those kind of things. So I was, I was, I was, I was happy to, to, to mm -hmm. play that, that role. As a South African black woman, I think it's um, very common to come across people who are within my demographic in terms of race and age who sometimes use terms such as yo ansako or oh i don't feel so well who use terms that have been used in society to downplay mental illness within black communities and we normally huddle around as friends in all kinds of spaces and we try and identify what is the problem. The film will be aired for the AFTA Film Festival later this month. Kim Daniels, SABC News, Lebeja.